Hi guys, I've had a nagging leak in this steering gear box. I put this in about six years ago when I built this truck. This came straight from the junkyard. This is a Saginaw box. I'm not sure which, which one it is. It's an 800 or a 780. It might be an 880, 808, who knows. This Anyway, Saginaw gearbox, they had these in Chevys and Dodges. Um, this is back from the late 70s, early 80s, mid 80s. So um, anyway, I had this nagging oil leak down here on my sector shaft, on my pitman arm, and uh, also here on the input seal. Started out as a weep, and then this thing just started dripping, and I got tired of the mess. I got tired of wiping all the scum and, and crap off my uh, undercarriage. So a couple days ago, I bit the bullet. I bought a rebuild kit for this steering box, and I happened to get the right kit, so I lucked out. <clears throat> So the kit consists of a full seals, gaskets, piston rings for your piston, also uh, piston rings for your proportioning valve that go, slides in and out here. So it's a very concise kit. The kit comes with everything except the needle bearings, and these needle bearings were pretty smooth, so I didn't have to change them. The kit was about 30 bucks, okay? <clears throat> Not bad. So... You could spend maybe uh, 250 bucks on a remanufactured unit, or you can spend 850 to 900 dollars on a new unit, and or you can rebuild it yourself for 30 bucks. So I lucked out. Um, it's pretty easy, fairly easy, as long as you keep everything clean, everything in order. The hard part was um, there was 24 recirculating balls in here, 12 are chrome, 12 are gunmetal color. So when you're reassembling your uh, your worm gear, you drop those balls in one at a time, chrome, and then gunmetal, then chrome, then gunmetal. So you got silver, gunmetal, silver, gunmetal. Every other ball took me about three tries to get that right, get the hang of it, but it went okay. So I'm pretty happy with it. I also put a couple ports in here, hydraulic ports. These are 6JIC, same as these here. So I've got them capped right now with little caps. These are going to be for hydraulic assist steering down the road. I figured I'd do that while I had the box apart because you got a lot of sh you get a lot of shavings and garbage, um, you know, from the drilling tapping process. You do not want to try to attempt to do this in the truck. You want to take it out and uh, freshen up your gearbox, um, and then t you know while you're tapping your ports. So it all worked out, guys. I'm pretty pleased. Thirty bucks on a rebuild. Um, I fired this up. I put a uh, quart and a half of fluid, uh, synthetic fluid, royal purple synthetic fluid up in that reservoir, fired it up. I wiped everything down here. I've, I've exercised the steering. No leak there on the sector and no leak here on the uh, input. So hopefully this doesn't leak. Hopefully I get another six or seven years out of it. So happy camper, guys. Uh, hopefully no more leaks, knock on wood, knock on 16 gauge. Happy camper here guys, later on, hopefully the snow will melt and we'll get some good wheeling videos in soon. You can do your own steering box, they're not that hard. I promise, you can do it yourself and you'll probably do a better job than those clowns that rebuild these do. So, later on gentlemen, Merry Christmas to y'all. Bye now. <laughs>